Hi guys, Angel Fishkeeper here, and I just want to do a quick product review on the Fluval Aqua Sky LED light. So this here is what you can expect to get if you buy a Fluval Roma, a Fluval Shaker, uh, either one of those lights. So basically what it does is, if I just open the lid here, it fits into the grooves on the side of the tank just in there so basically i've got the older style of aquasky so this one here that is extendable so it just pulls out either side um this is basically it here but these are the four foot versions uh basically yeah they just extend to a certain type of length. I've got the old version on the Roma 90 that has the has the sensor and remote. Um, but yeah, basically what you can expect to get with the Roma is this style. So it doesn't extend, it is literally just made for whichever tank it comes with. So it will only fit that tank. Uh, it does come, you can screw through there. If you use a long enough screw, you can actually screw it into another lid or ceiling, um, depending on what you're going to do with it. And basically this style light, same as what I've got on my 125 now, both run off an app on your phone. So you just download the Fluval Smart app. Uh, basically because I can't get it up on my phone to show you, what I will do is the old style Fluval Aqua Sky comes with this remote. And this is basically what you see on the screen of your iPhone, Android, whatever. Uh, it's basically exactly the same. So you get three different uh, daylight settings. Three different daylight, sorry, three different moonlights. This is currently on this setting here, which is basically dusk or dawn doesn't look like it it still looks pretty bright but in person it is actually pretty subdued lighting uh and you can even do different color settings so you've got orange blue two different types of blue light blue dark blue purple yellow and white um i have noticed if you put it on the orange it acts as a black water type look not quite if you've got lava rock it really brings out the reds in anything whether that's plants or fish uh it really does make the reds pop but it does when you look from from it uh side on it does look quite close to black water so if you wanted a black water tank um without having to put tannins into your water or anything like that then get yourself an aqua sky and stick it on there or in setting you've also got three different sort of thunder modes um so you can have it like a thunderstorm you're very rarely going to use that setting if i'm honest because it is um it's very rudimentary you can just kind of make out what it's supposed to be with the flash if you've got anyone in your family that is photosensitive or has epilepsy i wouldn't recommend putting that on because it is pretty much like a strobe light um, yeah, but if you are going to use it, the only really time to use it is when you're doing a water change. And basically, you won't have these on the app. So P1, that just means preset. The P means preset. So there's four different preset modes. On the app, you will have uh, automatic, manual, and pro. So basically, on the manual you will have this sort of screen where you can just pick what you want and leave it, go back to it. And on automatic, there will be a set time for the light to come on and go off, which will usually be six to six. And pro is pretty much the same as um, automatic, except you can change what time the lights come on and what time it goes off and you can add other colors to it. The automatic only has white and blue, 
but on Pro you can add red, you can add green, so you, you can add to the colours that actually come on through the day. And basically, if you were to work six till six, let's just say you did, you're never going to see that tank in light. By the time you get home, it's going to be off. So you'd probably set it maybe 12 till, I don't know, say 12 till 10. So you've still got a good few hours of viewing the tank before the lights go off. What I just do is I just have all of mine on the manual setting and I just keep it on one thing throughout the day. And just basically, this tank I have to keep it like this because if I put the blues on, the angels go for the neons. Um, so to prevent that, I put it on the dusk setting. It's, it's light enough for you to be able to see into the tank but it's dark enough for algae not to grow. So it's pretty much a great setting. Uh, overall, I've found the grow light, uh, grow plants perfectly. They don't get hot. They're not a, a hot LED strip. They, they don't tend to get very warm unless they're on 24 seven nonstop, 365 days a year. But if you're turning them off and then turn them on, LEDs as a general rule shouldn't really get too hot. Uh, good ones anyway shouldn't get too hot um, and your aqua skies are pretty much no exception um, really great light um, bearing in mind this is a bluetooth adapter so this light will not work with a normal adapter it has to be a bluetooth one because it's actually the adapter that your app connects to it's not the light um, so yeah if you didn't know that say the adapter breaks and you try and switch out the adapter for any adapter the light will not turn on it has to be a bluetooth adapter um so yeah just word of warning to buy them on their own without a tank they're a very reasonably priced led light um i think the cheapest they run at about 65 pounds which I think the smallest one is what I run on my 90. So, and I think they go upwards of 120 to 150 pounds. That's great, considering that would be for a five foot tank as well. Um, that's, that's a great lighting choice. They do a marine aqua sky. Obviously that is more expensive because it's for marines, but it's pretty much the same principle. Runs through an app on your phone except that one's mainly white and blue for the marine channels. Um, but yeah, other than that, absolutely great lights. Uh, other than Kessel, they're the only other lights I've had, to be honest, in my whole fish keeping experience, and I, I wouldn't change. There's nothing wrong with them. They're great lights, cheap, easier to replace. They've got a good warranty. Um... Yeah, great controllability if you're into that kind of thing. Whereas me, I'm not. As long as it's got white and blue light, I really don't care. But for people who like to control the lights a lot more, they're perfect. So yeah, that was just a quick little product review on the Fluval Aquasky. Thanks for watching. Bye.